Hey guys, here's a quick video to start my channel. And um, I wanted to show you, so this is nothing new. This is a jewel thief, basically. Uh, you can find the schem schematic in the description. Uh, it's a very easy circuit to make. The difficulty about uh, the circuit is to uh, is to realize the coil, because the coil is the essential part of it. I mean, it's, it's a double coil. Well, it's a center tap coil, if you like. Um, and that's the heart of the jewel thief. Uh, so the Jew Thieves will allow you, for those who don't know it, but there's loads of video here out there on YouTube, but it allows you to basically take a AA battery, a 1.5 volts battery, or, you know, cell that's under 1.5 or even, you know, less. Um, that one is still delivering, as you can see, 1.3 volts. Um, and to, uh, it's essentially it's a booster circuit. Uh, it's a self oscillated circuit with a with a transistor. I'm not going to explain um, how it works because I'm not 100% sure how it works. I think there are better videos explaining exactly the whole mechanism. But what it does is basically it allows you to boost the voltage at the output. Now here's the output of my circuit. You can see here uh, the batteries. Um, and what I've done is I have just added a little capacitor there between the output, uh, the plus and the minus. Uh, it's a small capacitor. Don't use a big one, because I've fried uh, some LEDs and, um, on a, and a little charger unit, uh, tip uh, 4056, by doing that, because I think uh, I, what happened was the, the capacitor just discharged it very quickly inside and then just basically fried, <laughs> fried the board and fried the LED. So be, just be very careful with that. Now, as you can see here, the voltage coming out to the board is 5.6 volts. Here you've got your typical little lithium iron charging board. Uh, you can see here that it's charging. Here you've got my lithium battery. It's a very, very bad cell. Um, when I um, extracted it, I was about one volt. One volt. Now, I know you're not supposed to <laughs> take these ones, but I was thinking, you know, if I'm gonna destroy a lithium battery, if something's gonna happen, uh, I'd rather be in a bad cell than a good cell. And anyway, these cells have fewer resistance, uh, so it's easy internal resistance. So it's easy to charge them. In the beginning, they will take a lot of charge very quickly. And that was the whole point to see how much I could boost. Now here you have the the current coming in. So you've got about 13 milliamp, which is not a lot to, to charge. Um, but then again, you know, you're talking about an alkaline battery, which is low. So, but I've 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 gone up. I've managed to ramp it up to about 70 millivolt. But if you do that, of course, you will drop the voltage very significantly uh, now it's fine because now the battery the lithium battery is at 2.7 uh, so you know the board can still charge it not not a problem but once you reach four volts um, you won't be able to push anything else if you ramp up too much the amperage because uh, well simply because this is what happens with a jewel thief is by boosting the voltage, you're taking less amps, of course, way less amps that you would uh, be able to with a normal uh, battery, but still enough amps to, you know, to power your circuit, to do whatever you want. Now, there's a lot of application for these things. I think these are used in solar lamps. Uh, they use also, you know, uh, to boost little solar panels. You know, you can use this. Then you can use a little AA battery to light up a, a LED um, torch, whatever. I mean, these are really, really cool circuit. I want to experiment with them. I've seen a couple of interesting circuit with them. And, well, yeah. Uh, I want to see how, you know, how much I can charge my battery. Now, I've tried to charge another battery here. And I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'll charge the battery and we'll. I'll be back. I'll change the battery and I'll be back. And here we are back again. Now I've put another battery. These, this battery is a bit better. It's not a great battery. So I think, um, you know, it was already 
but it you know still works for some applications. Uh, now, as you can see, the voltage was 3.2, 3.8, and here you still have those 13 milliamps coming in, and this uh, three uh, point. Now you see in the beginning when I put the one volt lithium battery, the voltage just ramped up really quickly, very very quickly, up to about two volts, and then it it only goes slowly. Now, of course, it will take ages before it can do that because it's it's extracting very, very slowly the energy from that battery. But you know, it, it's not bad when you think about it because these batteries you can use them in other applications. You can't use them, but there you can extract the last drop of energy. A bit like if you're you know rigging uh ring, ringing sorry uh a towel and you till it you can extract the last juice, as much water from it uh, as possible. And I think, you know, we're throwing out all these batteries, thinking about all the tons of these batteries being thrown out every day with so much energy inside of them. It's just a waste. And they go to the landfill and they profit no one because you can't even, you know, nature can't even have harvest the electricity of those batteries. So, you know, and that idea was given to me by, by someone who thought about that. Um, that I met, uh, but he, you know, we di we didn't really discuss the circuit and what we can use. And then I found the Jew Thief uh, circuit, and uh, I thought, whoa, that's that's it. So, um, yeah, let me tell you what you, uh, let me tell you what you think. And um, welcome to my channel. My name is Kleptonic. I should maybe call it Kleptronic. Anyway, <laughs> so there you go. Um, well, leave me your comments, uh, and uh, if you've done the circuit, if you've you've done what I did, yeah, maybe you know, do an, post another video and see and share your experience with it. I'll, I'll be delighted to um, you know to hear what you've done. Thank you. Bye.